Jared Floyd, Chief Meteorologist of the Arklamis. And now, your midday Arklamis news update. Good afternoon and thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily and Valerie Moravi with your midday Arklamis update. In crime news, on August 26 of 2023, deputies of the Washington Parish Service Office received a complaint of a sex offense that occurred within the Washington Parish area. Deputies were advised that a nine-year-old child was allegedly sexually abused by their father. According to court documents, deputies learned that the victim's father allegedly placed his genital area on the victim and sexually assaulted the victim. Deputies also learned that the most recent assault happened on August 24 of 2023 or August 25th of 2023. On August 28th of 2023, the victim was interviewed by officials and the victim confirmed that they were allegedly sexually assaulted by their father. The victim advised that the sexual assaults occurred at the residence and it happened so many times that the victim wanted to run away from home. The victim's father was identified as 66-year-old Charles Richard Soden and he was arrested on September 15 of 2023. Soden was charged with a graviated crime against nature. We are less than a month away from the primary election and now with two debates under their belts, uh, pollsters are waiting for the numbers to change at all for those running for governor. Capitol reporter Shannon Hecht brings us an insight into what politicals are seeing. On the one hand, we're all waiting for big things to happen and big breakthroughs and big things to cut loose. but. They don't seem to be happening. The days before Louisianians cast their ballots for the next governor are running out. Pollsters like Ron Fauche say that they've seen Attorney General Jeff Landry with a comfortable lead for months, with other candidates struggling to skim off his support. Most of the candidate campaigns have failed uh, to do what they wanted to do. I think their messaging has been off. Fauche says that governor's races of the past have had a lot more give and take in the numbers leading up to election day. But he's run into people not being as interested this year, and they're already looking towards the presidential. And seems to be following more of a national model. Fauche says that Landry sealing up the LA GOP and Trump endorsement early set him as the main Republican candidate for a lot of voters that lean farther right. So a candidate who can attract 30 percent, 35 percent, we had... Landry at 36%. You know, what, what you think of as the hard mega base in Louisiana. Sean Wilson also benefits from the state party support, but Fauche's poll shows that he needs more name recognition. So Wilson gets 60% of the vote among Democrats, but he only but only 35% of Democrats had ever heard of him. He says there is still time for the other candidates to get a second wind and bump up in the polls. Election day is October 14th. For your local election headquarters, I'm Shannon Hecht. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. As we go into this afternoon, we'll continue to see more sunshine. A few passing clouds will be possible, but temperatures will warm to the lower 90s for our daytime highs. As we go overnight tonight, we'll start dropping down to the mid 70s, and then we'll reach into the mid upper 60s for our overnight lows. We'll see a few showers, thunderstorms possible tomorrow morning, but it's mainly going to be out around the Arkham, Texas area, around Texarkana and possibly near Shreveport, but missing most of the Arkham mist. It won't be till tomorrow afternoon where we can start to see some pop up showers and thunderstorms, mainly across South Arkansas, but they could move into parts of northeast Louisiana mainly north of I-20, but could as reach as far south as Ruston or Monroe. So again, rain chances kind of stay on the board for tomorrow. And as we close out the week, still can't rule out more rain chances. We'll kind of keep it on 10%, but they'll mostly be higher in parts of South Arkansas for Thursday and Friday. Expecting a daytime high of 93 degrees for this afternoon as it remains mostly sunny and warm. Winds will continue to stay calm out of the east. And for tonight, we'll see a low of 64 degrees, mostly clear and calm. Winds will be still out of the east. And for tomorrow, that's when the storm uh, rain chances start increasing. Increasing. We'll see a daytime high of 92 degrees. Winds will start shifting more so out of the south. As we look at the seven day forecast, rain chances, like I said, stick around Thursday and Friday, more so for South Arkansas. And then as we go into the start of the weekend, we'll see more scattered showers and thunderstorms as our daytime highs will stay mainly in the lower 90s, but then dropping to the mid and upper 80s into next week. Lows will be mainly in the mid 60s. Well, thanks, Chase, for that update. Um, and well, just a quick reminder, um, KTVE and KRD will be sponsoring a soup drive uh, for the food bank throughout the month of September. So if you want to donate, make sure to go to myarchlimist.com. Well, that's it for your midday update. NBC News Daily continues.